Oh shit, uh, this is bad. No. Oh no! We were doing so good. Look at that shit. We were doing so good. Oh, I thought we were gonna get it. I honestly thought I was gonna get it. Some of this is three to one Demon Souls Bloodborne. I haven't got to try Bloodborne. Likes heavily in the variety of how you can play. Yeah, because of the weapons and stuff, right? Mm -mm -mm. This boss, you have to be next to him? Fuck that. I mean, kind of do. Going strength? Fuck that. Nah, I'm not going strength, no. I'm probably gonna go... I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. I'll get a phalanx. I don't. I know I don't have any more firebombs now because of that shit, but we'll get them. I beat my first time uh, last character I did. But he, then again, he was a wizard. We were so close, man. How close did you get your first try? Because to me, that was pretty fucking good. It all depends on your playstyle, guys. Like, what some people play better at a distance, some people play better at close. So, I have to deny all you what you guys are saying. Oh. Come on, Betsy. You got a Betsy! I honestly didn't think he'd go that fucking far behind. Jesus. Why am I one-handing it? That's a good question. There he goes. I'm backing away because he does a quick swing like that. Oh, he knocked him off balance. The fuck? The first time with a fluke, baby! I was using firebombs! I didn't use it this time! Fuck that guy. Did I even get touched? I got hit like one time. Fuck. I wish I had the fucking taunt. I'll just bow at you. Yee. Yeah. Uh, it's an absolutely solid pick. What would you consider to be really hard than Admiral? What's, what class is the hardest to start with? Yeah, exactly. That's just how it always is. It's how it always is. It's like, once you die one time, you start going fucking downhill, Ash. Seriously. That's usually how it goes. But I guess I got lucky that time. Bullshit, Admiral. I killed the guy I just fought. He hurts him like... Like, more than, like, almost, almost a quarter of his life bar with one magic shot. I've actually been having the easiest time with the mage so far, Admiral. Which is strange, huh? I'm dead serious. Easiest time right now with the mage, Admiral. But that's not counting PvP. PvP, mage, that's, that's fucking hard. But PvE versus the monsters, I've been finding that to be really easy, Admiral. I, I, that's my other character I have on there. His name is Magic Fingers. Ugh. Then again, uh, I guess a lot of my characters in the previous one have been, uh, I've been always make battle mages, so maybe that's why I'm really good at doing the spells. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it is kind of shittier, but it's not that hard, though. I, I like the magic, to be honest, so far. Anyhow, I got the coiled sword, guys. Sword missing from the shrine bonfire. Cannot be equipped as a weapon, though, unfortunately. 
thrust into the shrine banner for ban la 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 bonfire to restore its power and naval travel between the bonfires. The sword is only bequeathed to chosen Ash, who is in our chat right now, as judged by the Ludex, who awaits the arrival of Ash as a scabbard. Scabbard. Yeah, I got a scabbard right on my butt. In general, is there a nerf in this game? Do you, which one do you like doing better? Do you like using a consumable, a consumable item to enchant your weapon, Admiral? Or do you like to use an actual gem to enchant your weapon? Which one works better for you? What? How is Hayes here? I told me someone watched anything we didn't say, but fuck it. Yes, hey, see, I actually didn't stream it for like a week or two, probably two weeks now, because you said that, Hayes. I'm just now finally streaming this shit, because of you, what you said, man. Thank you for chiming in, man, I really do appreciate that. You came in a good time, because we just kicked that fucking first boss's ass. You motherfucker. The hardest guy is actually not Ludix here, guys. It's that motherfucker with the damn samurai sword over here, the katana. Fuck that guy. He is way harder than Ludix. They don't kick him off the cliff. That's that's cheap, man. That's fucking cheap. Don't kick him off the fucking cliff. Uh, repeat. You know, okay, the consumable item. You see how my my items are moving down the bottom left. Remember how you can use a a, uh, a resin to enchant your weapon? Do you like that over using a a fire gem like this on your weapon? Which one do you like using? The fire gem or whatever gem versus the consumable item on the bottom there. Or I guess it would be that way, wouldn't it? Uh. So I'm going to be a badass. <laughs> I'm going to fight this guy. Ah! Infuse. Yeah, I was wondering. I remember before the consumables were better, but I don't know about this game. I remember before there was weapons that you could like enchant and use a consumable on. I can't remember how you did it. Oh yeah, you'd have to use the flame spell or the lightning spell to enchant your sword. And uh, then you could use, uh, you could be enchanted already. Like, uh, that was on Dark Souls 2. You can get both. Alright. Here we go. <sighs> This guy's a bitch. Nior! I need your help. This guy is stronger than the fucking first boss. That katana you see? Oh, it's no fucking joke. His life? No fucking joke either. God, I don't think I'm gonna win this guy. I honestly think I'm gonna die unless he walks himself off a cliff. I'm not gonna knock him off, though. I ain't gonna fucking do that. Holy shit, dude. There's nothing worth blocking that crap. Did you see that? It went right through my shield. <laughs> okay, that's some bullshit. I, I think we're gonna have to uh, not fight this guy. Now that I think about it, <laughs> that was fucking ridiculous. Come on, come on. Uh! Oh, come on, face me. Come on, don't face. If you if, hey, you got another big tail sign. So just so you know. You got 200 potency, man. Good job. I'll fix those later. Okay, let's try it. If I get hit one more time, I'm, I'm just going back. I'm just going to go to the bonfire. No! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Fuck this! Dude, we, he's possible. We're going to hit the bonfire first, then we're going back to him. Watch, I can just jump off right now and kill myself. Fuck that. So this is our hometown, guys. Our little hometown. Let's talk to the main. I'm gonna go off screen for this guy so you can listen to her dialogue. Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I'm a firekeeper. I tend to the flame and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Ashen one, to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. 
I'll show thee how. It's so hard to backstab him, Phalanx. That NPC is so smart. Souls plucked from their vessels. When she said plucked for the, by their vessel, she actually says dialogue from the actual maiden, the blind maiden from Demon Souls, if you guys didn't know. I think her name was the Black Maiden from Demon Souls. And she actually says dialogue that sounds just like her. Alright, alright. I asked him one, I asked him one, I asked him one. Okay, let's put the sword in the bumper. Put it in the hole! Nice and smooth. He doesn't even slam it in there. We talk like that always hot. I agree, Admiral. Something about it, right? I'm just skipping it because we've already talked to her. Well, actually, let's not do that quite yet, guys. I'm gonna stay off the cat off the cam for a moment here. Ah, fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna fight that guy again. We're gonna we're gonna talk to all these assholes. Here in a moment, okay? But we're gonna go fight the katana asshole for some good experience and possibly his katana. I think it's actually this way. And then we shall continue with the dialogue. Hmm. What you did? In a rank above the one I started with in the end. <laughs> hey man, you made it somewhere, Admiral. Andre. Yes, the blacksmith. We will go talk to him soon. Okay. Come on. Do your shit. Come on. I gotta wait for him to attack first, and then I attack him. Sometimes it works. Seal. Can't roll away from him. I just gotta back away. Oh, he tried parrying me. You see that motherfucker? Oh, very close. Yeah, walk off. You fuck. This guy is so much harder than fucking Lunix. God damn it. Come on. Shit. No! Bad time to heal. Fuck. We were doing good. There we go. Beat him down! Beautiful. If we could do that one more time, he might be dead. Ah! That's how you do it! My naked self! But look how muddy we get. Look at this shit, guys. I got. I'm not half white, half black, guys. No. I'm fucking just muddy as fuck right now. And I'm pasty white as why well, dude I need some fucking sun. That's what I need right now. Jesus. Look at me. I'm so dirty. Isn't that kind of a cool ass system, guys? How you can just pretty much muddy yourself up and get dirty by everything. Even my shield does. Look at my shield. The top of the wood, as you can see, is a little bit muddy too. It's fucking badass, isn't it? Bye up, bye up. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, my goodness. No, actually, to be honest, Admiral, when I first started this game and I got all dirty and stuff like that, like, like I, my guy was just straight up black, right? And I thought that he, I actually chose him to be a darker color and whatnot. But it, no, it's because the fucking, the system, man, it's hard to tell. Like, it's, it fucked with me just like on um, Dark Souls 2. You remember the coffin you can sit in and it turns your sex into whatever other one? Like male to female, female to male. But I remember going, I had a helmet on when I first did it and I went in there and then I came out and I was progress probably about half the game with my helmet on and then I took it off and I was a fucking woman! I was like, it threw me through a fucking mind loop. I was like, no way, I chose to be a male at the start of the game and I'm halfway through I'm a female? What? It, it told me through me through a fucking loop, all because I went in that fucking coffin at the start of the game of Dark Souls 2. Total troll. Total troll. It threw me, like, literally, my mind blew up. I thought that I, like, I was just going crazy or something. I don't know, man. 
Praise the sun and get a tan. Damn right, Ash. That's what I need. Use Uchi Katana? Possibly, yeah. We could do that. Hey, Hayes, if you didn't see your uh, your tail, it's because it's one of my big ones. Basically, it's too many characters and I need to slim it down. So if you didn't see that, Hayes, you got 200 potency out of that one, man. Admiral, did you notice that some of the NPCs, the characters, change from female to male depending on your sex? Phalanx places a female and one of the characters is a male for him. I play as a male, and when I talk to the person, it's a female. Yeah. Characters changed based on your sex. That's fucking awesome, man. Alright, either way. So we need 11, 16. 11 strength, so we need some 1 on there, it's 6 decks. So we just go ahead and bump it up right now. We might as well use the katana since we got it, right? Yeah, isn't it awesome, Ash? You and I, you pretty much solidified that, Ash, for me. That's so fucking cool. So right off the bat, we're just gonna do that. Farewell, Ash Edward. So we got it, Uchi Katana, we'll read it. Unique Katana characterized by the fine craftsmanship of an eastern land where it was forged. The finely sharpened blade cuts flesh like butter and causes bleeding but breaks easily as a result. His skill is hold, which uh, assumes the holding stance to repeatedly execute a lunging slash with normal attack or deflecting par uh, parry with a strong attack, which is really fucking hard to do. Yeah, yeah, actually, we already talked about that. But tonight, Phalanx, if you're free, you and I, man. Uh, I don't know one, but there's a good re Okay, don't tell us and don't spoil it. You're talking about... The 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 one in the silent person, right? The guy, mmm, he doesn't talk or whatever. I'm sure you're talking about them, but uh, don't spoil that. Don't spoil, it, of course. I know you wouldn't. Admiral, you got another one of my large tails. Sorry about that. I'm gonna be fixing them soon, guys. But either way, you got 250 potency, Admiral. If you didn't see that. Talks about dice many times losing humanity. Went on an NPC murders rampage just for humanity. Isn't it great how you can kill them all? I can't wait to kill these people. Oh shit, I'll let you listen, guys. Yes, handed by Andre. <laughs> see, on, see the guy in the back? That's Andre, man. He wants to be revenge, Miss Hayes. He's gonna fuck you up, man. <laughs> Ashen One, if my wares are not to thy satisfaction, bring me Umbral Ash. Oh, she, she tells you this? With Ash, I know this. I'll fashion new wares. Is it not our sorry fate to sup on death? <laughs> Hey Ash, did you see that tail you typed in? I imagine you did. Go ahead and buy some items from them, guys. Maybe, just maybe, she has something we need. First of all, get that co-op. This is great because I didn't find I didn't find this out till later. But um, I know in the other games you help you people invade you, but apparently now it gives you one extra phantom to summon, but it also makes an extra. Uh, black phantom to invade you. I think it's called uh, dark phantom. I can't remember either way And it also triggers them to summon quicker to attack you So like if you use this shit, they use usually you'll get invaded probably like 10 seconds later seriously every time I've used it invade 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 Ooh, we're gonna go faith too. get the faith. Where's my talisman? Thank you so that means how much was that? Eight? And then we already have ten, so we can use it. We don't even need to level up or anything. Thank you, Ash. Thank you for actually telling me that, though. You mad? You got minus 100. You're like negative now, aren't you, Ash? What are you at? Uh, we probably should buy some gear, huh? Let's buy all the chainmail. And, um, uh, we're not gonna use a shield, guys. Not for you. Yeah, until we get a shield with a 100% block, then we will. And that's all we need for now. Well, actually, our weapon breaks easy, so we'll just, we'll just buy one. Just in case. We're not gonna upgrade anything. 
Well, uh, well, we'll go talk to him. Oh, shoot. No, I guess we will upgrade stuff because I did not realize we had souls we got to crush. Perfect. And we can go talk to him, Andre, and uh, Miss A's can relive his beating from uh, Dark Souls. <laughs> Man. Why is Carol... Carol is mad at you? Why is Carol mad at you? Are you being serious right now, Phalanx? I can't tell. If Carol's here, Carol, if you're here, it's all right. Look at this. I'm going to put armor on just for you right now. I won't be naked anymore for you. Look, I'll put my clothes on. I know this is a pantsless cast, but fine. I'll put my fucking pants on for you. There's my pants. What am I at? 53.6? Perfect. We don't even need a wooden shield. Fuck wooden shields. We'll put the shine there, though. Do we have a ring I can wear? No. You are a warrior. Yeah, you are badass. Pyromancer? The Pyromancers are badass. My first character was a, uh, what was he? What did he, he started off as a Pyromancer too, but I evolved him into like a, uh, what did I evolve him into? Like pretty much just dual maces and damage. He was like a glass cannon. And my next person I made, Awesome fucking armor, shield, and spear. Faith build. Fucking badass. My third character now is called Magic Fingers, and he's just straight up mage. But anyhow, let's talk to Andre. For, for, for fucking this taste. Well, a newcomer, I see. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine as a humble smith forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Sindhu, I trust. Toilsome journey, I wager. You require good arms. Let me smith you weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. Weapons and protection are sturdy enough by and large. But when overused, they'll eventually break. When their durability is low, repair becomes a necessity. Use a powder or simply rest at a bonfire. But should chance impel them break, bring them me. I'll hammer them back into shape. They take no pleasure in breaking, I assure ye. So handle them with care, if you would. I'm gonna sp start spelling ye with just Y now, because he's doing it. He's there a badass. There are two ways to smith weapons. Simple reinforcement is one, and infusion the other. Reinforcement is straightforward. It strengthens a weapon without altering its property. Infusion is a more advanced form of smithing that infuses an element. Reinforcement requires titanite, and infusion requires gems. Bring the stones, and I'll do the smithing. Oh, if I got two stones for you. In battle, your weapons are your only friends. Forge them well. And they won't let you down. Hey, Hayes. I don't want to spoil anything. I mean, I guess you are watching this and all, but um, you can get Sun Bros. Armor set. I've already got his chest piece on my other character, man. It's fucking amazing. Anyways, we just got hoorah! <laughs> Look at this. Look at this shit. So now, many of you know already you can taunt, obviously, and whatnot. But I just got the hurrah one, so I'll show you guys. Yeah! Yeah! I did it! Yeah! Pretty amazing, huh? Ah, well, Matt. Tis good to see ye in good health. What needs smithing this day? I don't know. And Iron Flesh, yeah, pretty badass. Iron Flesh is fucking nice. I mean, it depends on how heavy you are. If you like really light and then use it so you don't fat roll, fucking thumbs up. But um, I know Iron Flesh was amazing for bosses. Use on the Four Kings, or I think is what they're called. You'd own the shit out of them, man. Look, you can allot your SS flask, guys. You have to choose wisely, health or magic. Right now, currently, since we only have one heal spell, we'll do three life, one magic. Actually. Yeah. We'll do that. Now we're going to reinforce our weapon. Ah, oh, we fuck, we can't, but can we infuse our weapon with fire? Mmm, not quite enough money. That'll make our weapon incredibly badass once we do. So we almost have enough. Be we'll go. We'll come right back here, guys. We're gonna go out. We're gonna leave after we talk to another person, 
and then we'll come back and get that fire enchanted on here. Uh, you guys might remember this guy. He's the depressed guy from all the Souls games. Even Demon Souls. We unkindled our worthless. Can't even die right. Gives me conniptions. And they'd have us seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. Not fit to lick their boots. Don't you think? What a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. They're talking true legends. Those who would link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to lick no more boots now. We just got collapsed, as you guys might have just saw. Oh yeah, look at this, guys. You can move while you do taunts now. <laughs> Wee! It's pretty fun. <laughs> Alright, switch now to this. Oh, no. Never give up, soldier! Huh? Alright, I will never give up. Actually, there is one last person to talk to for the time being. Let's go ahead and talk to him really fast. And then we will earn some experience to get that fire enchantment on us. Katana. All that unkindled, and a seeker of lords. I am Ludleth of Corlan. You might not have enough potency, Ash. Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my child course. This sad Cadaver. No need to be coy. Have a closer look. No style of our purpose. Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is. I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small, but I will die a colossus. I never realized he didn't have fucking legs. I don't know how I never fucking noticed that, but the dude don't have fucking legs! Or maybe he does, he's just a midget. I don't know. Now, now. Helsis! Do not be away. Do not be long. away, Helsis. Not for long. No, um, you can, you should be able to find a pink one pretty easy, I would think. Go ahead and search on, uh, I don't know. You, you should be able to find one pretty damn easy with pink. I wouldn't think you would be, it'd be hard to find. I'm sure you can. Yeah, I don't know how it's, it's pretty easy to paint it though too, but I think you'll be able to find it, a pink one. I'm sure. It, there has to be a fucking pink one that you can get easy. Anyhow... We're gonna warp out the town or to the next area and then we'll just quick, quickly kill some people and then we'll go right back to enchant our katana with fire because there's gonna be people invading, I'm sure. What do you do? Oh, you do simple questions, huh, Phalanx? See, what is this shit about? See, that's. I just realized, so that's a coiled sword, then that used to be a, the one of the bonfires? Not that I've actually really looked at it. That's a fucking coiled sword right there. The one like we got from Lucius. It was his, uh, Luxix, I think his name is. The first boss. Push it over! The High Wall of Lotharic. This is the first area, guys. We are making progress, baby. Alright, I got people who can summon. Yeah, we'll go for a little bit. Fuck it. We'll summon you, we'll summon you, summon you. Oh shit, I didn't realize I didn't put my fucking heal spell on though. We don't need it I guess for now. As long as I have friends. 
As long as you have friends, if you guys got buddies, you're gonna live a good life, my friend. Are you gonna summon up? Oh, maybe we're gonna be unlucky. Homies! Homies!